the first thing that I can tell you about these yogurts, when they apply for us, I was so happy. There's huge potential across South Africa to develop biogas. This is a very difficult time, but it's also the best time for the biogas sector. Biogas has a potential to contribute to South Africa's efforts of reducing greenhouse gas emissions. I really have a, a hope. I really mean it when I say it will be successfully. I think it's such a beautiful space to be in. We're definitely transitioning with uh, additional capacity coming online. It should be from renewable sources. Our country and our planet at large are facing what seem like overwhelming challenges. Growing energy demand, waste management problems, and the effects of climate change may seem insurmountable. But what if we saw it differently? What if we were facing an unprecedented opportunity for growth, job creation, and the development of a vibrant new sector? That opportunity is biogas, and it's calling on us to change our thinking and turn waste into opportunity on an industrial and domestic level. Biogas is a byproduct of the anaerobic decomposition of organic matter used as feedstock, which can include vegetable and animal waste, organic waste from industrial processes, bio waste from households, wastewater, and waste from agricultural crops. A typical biogas plant will be fed with feedstock a few times per day, or depending on the feedstock and type of plant, it could be continually. The feedstock makes its way into the biogas digester. This is where the stages of decomposition happen. At each stage, microorganisms, bacteria, break down plant and animal waste into carbon dioxide, CO2, and methane, CH4. It is the methane component that allows the biogas to be used as an energy source for cooking, heating, and generation of electricity. The waste that is generated, it generates methane, which is a very high greenhouse gas warming potential, which is 23 times that of carbon dioxide. So it causes climate change. We have transformed this challenge with organic waste into an economic opportunity where we are developing a new and green industry. What's truly exciting are the opportunities for engagement at different levels, with the potential for anyone to be involved, even on a domestic scale. From all these other sites which we have installed these biogas digesters, this site is the best. It's because of nearness to feedstock. Secondly, they've got water available on site. Thirdly, the owners are very keen and passionate and they make use of the fertilizer through the compost pit. One of the overwhelming benefits of biogas technology is its ability to scale. Larger plants may range from 150 kilowatts right up to 10 megawatts. Behind me is the biogas plant, which is a 300 kilowatt combined heat and power facility. It makes use of the biogas produced from the lagoon digester just down the road here. The install capacity of this plant can produce sufficient power to run the entire farm without the need to connect to the grid. The biogas plant must fit into the farm's operation and not for the farm to be molded around the biogas plant. Drawing on a wealth of knowledge and training workshops across South Africa, we have created exciting opportunities for upskilling of local communities. The potential is great for South Africa as we are in a crisis of electricity generation. Once the alternatives are opened up, it will create a more uptake uh, for biogas. As capacity grows at community level, we see the emergence of incredible potential for investment and the development of a viable and sustainable sector. So the recent announcement by President Ramaphosa actually creates this enabling space and sends out clear signal with regard to political world. The Department of Mineral Resources and Energy has a mandate to ensure that there is security of supply through the utilization of a mixture of energy sources. And I believe that biogas can contribute towards the department's mandate. As momentum builds, what is needed now is further capacity building, upskilling, and the participation of individuals and communities at every level.
More than anything, what's needed is a vision to see waste as an exciting opportunity to grow a happier, healthier planet. It's about addressing the challenges and pushing forward. The key is to be simple and easy for the farm to manage and maintain. They can improve uh, each and every household, especially in rural areas. It is a question of taking on the work that was done by this project to stimulate more investments in the biogas industry across the country. This project was proudly co-funded by the Global Environment Facility, GEF, and implemented by the United Nations Industrial Development Organization, UNIDO, the Government of South Africa through the Department of Forestry, Fisheries and the Environment, DFFE, and the private sector.